materials you will need include a skein of yarn, a yarn needle, a pair of scissors for finishing sewing and ends, and your crochet hook. The crochet hook I am using is a size N, 9 millimeter, and the yarn that I'm using is a number six bulky weight yarn. So to begin, you need a slip knot. And most crochet uh, patterns start with the slip knot. And to do that, I do make a loop like this. And that top strand there, I cross over the back of that circle like this. And then I pull that strand forward. And when I do that, you'll notice that there's a knot side and I call this the slip side. So I'm gonna tighten the knot side right here. And I leave a long end on my starting chain so that I can sew it back in. So I can sew it in when I get finished. So I'm gonna take my crochet hook, put the loop on my hook, and I want it to slide. I don't want it to be super loose, so this should be about right. And I have a little bit of space in there, you can see that. So then, the way I hold my hook is I like hooks with thumb presses. I hold it like a knife. Some people hold it like a pencil. I prefer holding it like this. I keep my thumb on the thumb press. I don't roll my hook and I just move my wrist when I, I need my hook to move. So on this side, this is the hand that holds a yarn and it's responsible for the tension and helping create the stitches. So if you remember how to snap your fingers, it's similar, the way I hold my yarn is similar to snapping your fingers. So I call this the pointer finger, I call these the pinchers, and then these down here hold the tension on the yarn. So I drape the yarn. So this is the working yarn right here. This is just the end on the starting chain right here. So I'm gonna take the working yarn like this and put it over those three fingers like that. And then I'm gonna bring this hand up like this because I want it to look like that. And then my pink pinchers are gonna go in here and I'm ready to start. So to start, I have the head of the hook facing me and I have my thumb on the thumb press. I have my pinchers on the star, uh, slip knot. It's actually right on the knot my little finger down here is holding onto the yarn and creating some tension. And then my pointer finger is straight out. And this is my working area right here. Now I'm going to turn the head of my hook like this. And I'm going to use this hand on this side to help yarn over. And then I'm going to turn the head of my hook down like this, and I'm going to bring it through the loop on my hook like that. Then when it comes out of that loop, I'm gonna draw it up a little bit. If you want, you could slow down this video and you would see it, but I'm pretty slow the way I show how to do things anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna give this some height here. So now I'm gonna Hold my stitch here and I'm gonna move my pincher up and then I'm gonna go back to do the second chain I'm gonna yarn over like this turn the head of my hook down like this I'm holding some tension out this way so it maintains some space in there so that when I come through like this I've got space for that loop to come through and then I'm gonna pull that up like that and then I'm gonna hold that here. I'm gonna move my pinchers up like this. I'm gonna get some more yarn over here. And then I'm gonna turn the head of my hook back, turn the head down like this, bring that through the loop on my hook, and bring that up and give it some height right here. And then I'm gonna hold it with this finger here. I'm gonna slide my pinchers up. I'm gonna give it some more yarn over here on this side. Then I'm going to turn the head back like this to catch the yarn. I'm going to turn it, roll it forward like this, roll it down like this. Then it goes through the loop on my hook like this. And I'm going to give that a little bit of height like this. I'm going to hold this like this, move my pinchers up, drag out some more yarn. Go like 
this. I've got some tension here and I'm going to bring that through the loop on my hook like this. I'm going to give it some height here, maintain that tension here. I'm going to put my finger here, move my pinchers up, get some more yarn on the, that side. Bring this, roll it back to catch the yarn, turn the head of the hook down, bring it through like this, and back up again. So after those, now I can count, and there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. For this demonstration, I want to do 11. So there's seven, eight, So there's the 11. So each chain you can see there's two strands. It's like a V. If you roll it forward, there's a bar across the back of the each chain. But the front looks like this. So now to start row one, this is called the foundation chain. So to start row one, you would in the directions, it would say single crochet in the second chain from hook. This is the first chain, and that is the second chain. So you, you're not going to go in that first chain, and you insert your hook in the top strand of the V right there of the chain, and you insert, I have my finger here holding this, and I'm going in here, my pinchers are right there, and I'm going to go up, catch the yarn, bring it down like this, bring that up out of that chain, and I'm going to yarn over, my pinchers are right there between both strands and it's pulling. Like I'm pulling on this side and I'm pulling back on, with my pinchers. Then I'm gonna yarn over, turn the head of my hook down and bring it through the two loops on my hook and then I'm giving it some height right there. So I'm gonna go into the next chain. That was the second chain from hook. Now I'm gonna go into the top strand of the next chain which is right here. I have this holding this loop that's on my hook. I have my pinchers on standby right here. I'm gonna go in here, turn the head of my hook up, and then turn it down, bring that out of that strand like this. I'm gonna move my pinchers over. I'm gonna be right between those two loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over like this. I'm gonna turn the head of my hook down and draw through the two loops on my hook. And then I'm gonna go into each chain across this in the similar fashion. So I'm gonna go in here, draw a loop up like this, put my pinchers right there, yarn over, turn the head of my hook down like that, bring them through two loops on the hook. So now I've created three single crochet stitches. And then they have the two strands across the top. So I'm going to go in each chain across. So I'm in the last chain now. So when I did the foundation chain of 11, and then I chained, uh, then I turned and I did my first single crochet in the second chain from hook, I lost that one chain on the end. So on row one, instead of 11, I will have 10 single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is the last chain. So I'm going to go in there, drop a loop, yarn over, and draw through two. So then I just turn my work like this. I'm going to, I could chain one first, like this, and then turn my work like this, 
And now I'm going to be working underneath those two strands at the top of each single crochet. So I'm going to go underneath those two strands like this. I have this finger hold in this loop here. I have my pinchers real close by. I'm going to draw a loop out like that. I'm going to yarn over, draw, turn the hook down like this, and draw it through the two loops on my hook like that. And this is the start of row two. I'm going to go into the next single crochet like that, same thing. Yarn over, my pinchers move right close by, like that. So I'll continue working in rows until I get about nine rows done. And then I'll come back on camera and show you how to finish off. completed nine rows and the way I count the rows is this was row number one and row number two is the wrong side row that I'm looking at right here so I just go every so the stitches have little bars across them like this on the every other row so I just go two four six eight and this is row nine right here and I have uh, two four six eight single crochet stitches done. So when I get down near the end, when I wanna finish off, I will make a single crochet here, and the last single crochet will go right here, like this, and then I'll make the single, and then I'll make a chain one, like this, and I'll, if you grab the back of this chain right here, it tightens right here, and this is a slip side, so, you can slip that back and then what I like to do is leave a long end and I just cut right back here you just have to be careful not to cut yourself and I just cut there and then just pull it straight out and then that's locked in there to sew your ends in you well this is what I do I fold the yarn over the side of the eye of the needle like that and then I pinch it and I pull the eye out and then I open up my pinch fingers just a little bit just enough to push that fold through the eye of the needle so I do it like that I'll put a link to these needles I absolutely love these yarn needles so you go to the I finished on this side so it's the uh, right side, and the first row I did was facing this direction also. So I'm gonna go to the wrong side of the work. It's gonna look like this. And when you're just starting out, I wouldn't worry at all about the right or the wrong side, but it just so happens that this is the wrong side. So I'm gonna go close to where the strand uh, finished up right here. So a good place to start would be right here. And I'm gonna slide this needle through about an inch of the stitches. Now I'm gonna come back here and go a little bit behind where that strand came out and go into that space and then back out again. What I like about this needle is that it glides through the ply of the yarn and it's quicker. So I might do that about three times. I'll come, I came out right here. So now I'm gonna go behind that and then go back out. The one thing you do not want is to have your work unravel. And if you don't sew it good, it will. So I always lay my scissors flat like this. I hold the yarn up like this, and then I cut it like that. So I don't cut into the stitches. So then you'll wanna sew in the other side, and that's how you do um, crocheting. And this is just a, a sample of the single crochet stitch. The 
needles. 